I pay tribute to the courage and devotion to duty shown by firefighters who repeatedly entered the building to rescue occupants at great risk to themselves. However, I am critical of many aspects of the NFB's response. Those who are liable to be called upon to act as incident commanders were not trained to recognise a fire in the external wall of a high-rise building, nor were they trained in how to respond to it. There was no contingency plan for evacuation of the tower, and the NFB failed to revoke the stay-put advice at a time when the stairs remained passable. Had it done so, more lives could have been saved. There was a lack of effective communication between the control room and the incident commander, resulting in a failure to share important information. There were serious deficiencies in command and control, and many of the communication systems did not work properly. The LFB had not provided its senior control room staff with appropriate training on how to manage an incident which generated a large number of fire survival guidance calls. I consider that these represent significant systemic failings in the organisation of the LFB and show that it had failed to learn the lessons of the Lacanal House fire. But at the same time, I find that following the refurbishment, the external walls of the building did not comply with the building regulations because they did not adequately resist the spread of fire over them. On the contrary, they promoted it.